Facebook ads retargeting. It's this big, complicated, advanced strategy that only the most elite of Facebook advertisers such as myself can do, right? Wrong. Facebook ads retargeting is actually very, very simple. It's just something that scares people for one reason or another, and it sounds complicated, but it's actually very, very easy. And so in this video, I'm going to demystify the Facebook ads retargeting process for you. Now, before we get into the actual tutorial, let me first tell you what Facebook ads retargeting is, just in case this is the first time you've ever heard of it. Most people have, but if this is the first time you're hearing of what retargeting is, it's simply a strategy of getting in front of people who have already made it to a certain page on your website or have interacted with a certain video on your Facebook page or Instagram page or anything like that, right? So you're already kind of just pre-qualifying this person because they've had some sort of interaction where you can track them and then you want to retarget them with an ad for an additional or separate offer. So that is what retargeting is and everyone can do it. It's not something that only the biggest businesses have access to. Um, if you can just create some simple custom audiences, which I'll walk you through in just a second inside of Facebook Ads Manager, then you too can get going with Facebook Ads retargeting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right inside Facebook Ads Manager and get down to it. All right, so once you are in your Facebook Ads Manager, you want to click on the hamburger menu in the upper left and then head on over to audiences right here then once you are on the audience page you want to go ahead and click on the blue button create audience and we're going to create a custom audience in order to get going with retargeting and then we're going to do your website next and then as opposed to the default of all website visitors we want to click on that middle drop down and switch it to people who visited specific pages and then we're going to say everyone who visited the url that contains thank dash you so obviously this is just an example um, you want to put in the correct URL um, that you are using um, right you want to think of the URL that people land on after they you know maybe opt into a lead magnet or opt into your launch or if you're doing sales page retargeting you would want to put in that um, the URL for that sales page um, you know whatever it may be so just make sure that you type in the correct URL and also just make sure you choose contains I'm not a, a big fan of using equals um, you, I don't include things like HTTPS or www because there's different URLs with different sorry not different URLs with different browsers with different settings and so you never know if that's actually going to show up in someone's browser so to speak so I just like to put something um, very basic the most basic thing possible um, and use contains so then I put that right there and then more importantly um, you want to change the retention um, usually right so the default is 30 days so you need to choose what is actually the correct um, one for you to choose. Um, so is it, you know, 30 days? Is it 60 days, 90? The maximum you can do for a website custom audience like this is 180 days. But just for purposes of this example, let's go with five days. Let's go, let's just say there's people opting into a lead magnet and I wanna retarget everyone who has opted into a lead magnet over the uh, last five days. And then I'm gonna put in here, so lead magnet opt-in five days, just like that. All right, I'm gonna click create audience. But also, right, that's not the only thing I can do, right? I can also create other audiences for the same lead magnet, but a different length. And I'll tell you why you might be interested in doing that. So I'm gonna go through that whole same process again. Contains forward slash thank dash you. And then let's make this one a 10 day audience. All right, the name lead magnet opt-ins. Now, one thing to note before we move forward on in terms of the setup is one, obviously you have to have your pixel <laughs> installed. Otherwise, if your pixel is not installed, um, none of this will work. And then secondly, in order to actually to be able to retarget people, you do need a minimum amount of people in the audience for your ads to fire in the first place. Now, Facebook tells you that number is a thousand people. I can assure you that is not the case. You can do it with less than a thousand people. It has to be roughly somewhere between 200 and 250 people in that audience. So if not, if if, if less than 200 people have opted into my lead magnet here over the last 10 days, then I won't be able to do any retargeting. Great audience, done. All right, now let's go set up a campaign for retargeting. So obviously you want to click on the create button right here and then choose whatever objective makes the most sense for your retargeting purposes. Um, for this case, I'm just gonna do sales, but again, um, that's not necessarily uh, mean that that's always what you want to use for your retargeting, right? Sometimes leads might make sense, traffic might make sense, engagement might make sense. Um, so again, this is just purely for example purposes. I'm going to click continue and I'm gonna go straight to the ad set. And so here is where you choose 
the correct uh, targeting settings. So let's go, let's optimize for purchase right there. Then I can choose when this can go out. I'll just leave that at the default for now. But it's right here where I can choose the audiences that I just created. So I can go after lead magnet opt-in five days and boom, just like that, I've created an ad set where I'm gonna be targeting everyone who has opted into my lead magnet over the last five days. As long as there's at least, you know, 200 to 250 people in there, this ad set will fire. Now, what if I wanted to get a little bit fancier in the sense that I have a 10 day window that I would like to retarget people for, but I wanna change my messaging, right? Maybe in the first five days, I want to show them one time Type of messaging and then if that doesn't convince them I want to show them a different type of messaging this is where you can get a little bit more advanced with your retargeting so as opposed to targeting the five-day audience in this case I'm gonna target the 10-day audience but I'm going to exclude the five-day audience so what this is allowing me to do is that it's not going to get in front of anyone who's opted in over the last five days it will get in front of people who have opted in over the last 10 days but while excluding people the first five days so again this would allow me to have um, an ad set where i can switch up the messaging let's say in the first five days i'm doing some type of retargeting and they're just not taking me up on my offer so i want to change the messaging to see if i can convince them in the final five days to purchase my offer this exactly is how i would set that up all right and there you have it so now you can see that facebook ads retargeting is accessible to you as well it's very simple and very straightforward but if you do have any additional questions about this as always please just do let me know and I will respond to you in the comments as soon as I can. Here's two more videos for you to check out. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.